A line has equations 3y plus 6x is equal to 15. Evaluate the gradient of a line which is perpendicular. So as with any um, straight lines question, we need to remember that the equation of a line has the form y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient or the slope of the line, and c is the y-intercept of the line. So the first thing we're going to do is rearrange the equation that we've been given into that form. So what I'm going to do first is write the equation. What I'm going to do now, with the aim of getting y on its own, I'm going to get 3y on its own by subtracting 6x from both sides. Okay, that's the opposite of adding 6x. So I have 3y is 15 minus 6x. <clears throat> I have 3 times y on the left-hand side. So to get y on its own, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So that will give me y is equal to 15 minus 6x over 3. I'm div um, the divisor is a single number, 3. So I can um, divide out or distribute out the 15 minus 6x on the numerator to give me 15 over 3, which is 5, take away 6 over 3, which is 2x. So we have y is equal to 5 minus 2x, but I could just as easily write that as y equals minus 2x plus 5. So I now have it in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So if I compare, I can see the gradient of my original line, the m is minus 2. So basically, my line is going to look something like this. It's going to have a downward slope fairly steep, cross one down two. So it's going to be something like that. Now if we look at a line perpendicular to that, clearly it's going to be fairly shallow. You can see it's not it's not going up steeply. It's going up shallow in a quite a shallow way, and it's going upwards. So we need to remember that if I have two lines with gradients m a and m b the product of their gradients is minus 1. So if I have here a gradient of minus 2, call this you know, the original line A, then if I times it by a the gradient of any line which is perpendicular, so any line which is perpendicular to it, you can see will have the same slope upwards. If I take that minus 2 and times it by the gradient of any perpendicular line to it, we will get minus 1. Now, to get what is in that box, that MB, I just have to divide both sides by minus 2. So, to get what is in that box, that MB, the gradient of the perpendicular line, I simply do minus 1 over minus 2. A minus divided by a minus is a plus. So I have plus 1 over 2, or plus 1 half.